Hello. Hello. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. All righty. So, yeah. Welcome back. Okay. Thank hey. you so much. All right. Go for it. Go for it. You got it. Yeah. I think I'm just excited. Somehow this morning I woke up and I'm like, God, you never change. You remain the same. That's exciting for me. That's really exciting. I can rely on you. I can trust you. We can depend on you. We don't have to be afraid that suddenly something happens. You get emotional and you change your mind. So somehow thoughts kept coming into my mind. I just want to read some portions of the scriptures. Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to start from there. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. You know, I just had to remind myself, myself this truth everlasting truth that our God can be relied on. There's no shadow of turning with him. He remains same. I mean, it's awesome. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. This is a new century version. The earth Mm -hmm. was empty and had no form. Darkness covered the ocean and God's spirit was moving over the water. And God's spirit was moving over the water. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. You know, if you read the book of John, chapter one, um, the the, 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 the account says that God came, became flesh. Jesus, he came, he became flesh. Even to his own that should have known him, that have been studying about him, they didn't know him. But as many as received him and believed on him, he gave that power to become. It wasn't too long because they must appeared and started asking questions. And Jesus said to him, except you are born again, you cannot see. Then in verse 5 of John chapter 3, he says, except you are born of the water and of the spirit. We know the water is the word. You cannot enter. It's not too long. The scripture would like to quote and, you know, we get excited. I forgot so long the word. But before then, in verse 15, he had said the same thing. Then in verse 17, he was saying, hey, this God didn't come to condemn us. But through his word, he came to save us. That's the reason why he came. It wasn't too long. John the Baptist had an issue. Hey, I've been here talking about you, but you came around, you know, but John ended with saying in verse 30 of chapter three, I have to decrease so that he might increase because there's something about the word of God, about the son of God that makes him so central that even after we come bring in the power of the Holy Ghost, the spirit of God, even that, that couldn't do so, so great. um, I don't know how to say it. He was present at the beginning yet. God himself, God the Father had to speak before something happens. What, what I'm saying is there's something about the power of the word of God, even the power of our own word. The book of James, we say, let's be careful what we say. We shouldn't be too double about what we say. So I just want us to be encouraged that as we pray in the Holy Ghost, as we get the power, as we are built up, as we are, we are being helped, through the power of the Holy Ghost, as we pray and equip ourselves, let's not forget that all those things happen because we believe the word of God. Let's not forget to keep going back to this world. Just reading it, Paul, we say, till I come, attend, just read, attend to reading. Just read. You know, at the beginning, we were talking about the fact, no matter what, the word of God has this power. In the Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, Paul, we say, be filled, be filled with the word. Keep reading, let be filled with it because I don't know, God will say according to his power. That's the power of the word. That is the, Jesus says he will come. The spirit of God will speak about me, reveal to you what I've said. There's something about the power of the word of God. Just knowing, testify, I mean, the testimonies of people, the good, the bad, the horrible, the excellent. It is what, to the extent that they believed God's word. Well, it's only God's word that determines, that proves, that remains true. Because in the times we live in, the Bible talks about strange, you know, spirits. And they will come to do things that shouldn't be. But as we keep exercising ourselves in so many exercises, the only one short in is that word of God that we must keep going back to, to read, to meditate. But most importantly, to do our best to obey as it strengthens us and works in us. Finally, in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, um, God said, look, in times past, the prophets came and spoke. The prophets came. But now he has chosen to speak through his son, through the word. 
through, and I mean, it's so exciting. And as the Holy Ghost empowers us and strengthens us and equips us and uses us, I will not forget that this same Holy Ghost is testifying of the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ.
Baba, 
Ya ka ba 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 ya ka 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 ba 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 
about spraying in the Holy Spirit and I, I got to listen to my papa again the last few days but it's all by faith your fluency is dependent on faith first of all this stuff together helps you build some kind of familiarity so I don't know where you are or wherever you are as you pray more you get better more all right Right. And you have to be, you have to just free yourself. Don't worry about what you are hearing. Just continue doing it. Because as you do it, you get, you're oiling the wheel. As you hold the wheel, you get better. Right? right. So the same right. would say is that do what you need to do foolishly if, it, if you have to. Because as you do it foolishly, you get wiser and better at it. Right, it's just like learning a new language. If you're learning a new language now that you've not spoken before, you will sound funny. And if you if you care about being funny, you will never learn. You have to be willing to sound funny and sound foolish to get better at it. Because those who know the language will make fun of you at first. But if you care about their fun they are making out of you, you will never learn the language. You have to speak it, even though it doesn't sound right, and continue at it. Because the more you do it, the better you get at it. So that's the whole process. So don't worry about where you are right now. Just continue doing it and do it by faith. Just believe that the Holy Spirit is the one giving you utterance. Say Amen. whatever it is that is coming true and continue at it. Amen. Because as you continue at it, you gain fluency. You begin to understand it more. You begin to speak better, right? But if you, you are too worried about, oh, I'm only saying two words. Oh, this, this, this. You will never get good at it. Right, so it's the, it's the faith you just have to believe that the Holy Spirit is, is backing you up, is giving you utterance, is saying something as you're saying it. So say it foolishly, say it sillyly, but just keep at it because the more you do it, the better you get at it. My sister Beauty is back. Beauty, you want to take it or you want me to continue? Okay, sorry, go about ahead. My internet, uh, I understand, I understand. Go ahead, you have it, you have three minutes to go. Okay, I just want us to know uh, some of the benefits that we get from uh, speaking and praying in tongues includes uh, uh, the faith that our faith has been stirred up. You know, it increases our faith in what God has said. Um, it, strengthens our, it strengthens our joy. You know, the, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So when we continue to uh, exercise ourselves in the spirit and continue to uh, pray in the spirit. Our joy is refreshed. Our joy is renewed. Our peace is increased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our confidence level goes up. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage that uh, this exercise, this this uh, the spiritual work, is not in vain. It is doing spiritual work on our behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. And I've also seen that this 
it's life, it's more of the spiritual warfare we have to every day. So this is one of the ways that our heart is because we are praying in the spirit, we are we are releasing missiles in the place of the in the spirit realm. And we are praying, we are effectively praying because we, the Holy Spirit is directing our prayers aright, even when we don't know what we are saying. The Holy Spirit directs it, you know. He just he, he turns it into a prayer point because he knows the mind of God and he's bringing the mind of God into our prayer lives. Hallelujah. Amen. And I also Amen. found out that when we pray more in the spirit, it seems our tongue, we, 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 it will be difficult for us to, to ex, uh, speak for negative words or Amen. words that are filled with pride or uh, things that are negative. So mm-hmm. praying in the spirit will help us to tame our tongue. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to encourage to continue it. What I do presently is I wake up, I fix my alarm, if it's midnight or about that time, I just wake up and start to pray in the spirit. Because, Amen. you know, <laughs> for you to know that it's, it's a really a spiritual battle. Some, you know, some people are telling me I'm disturbing them, you know. And what what has my prayer got to do with you? I, I don't even pray where you are sleeping. You know? Uh, you know, I just go away from there and go to my own separate place to pray. So the enemy is, 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 is finding it hard. So <laughs> he knows that something is happening. So he starts coming against the prayer. Why are you praying so much? What is at stake? Why are you praying so much? You know? So I want you to be encouraged that something is happening and just continue in that strength in Jesus' name. Amen. So to strengthen us back in the Amen. as we stay in the place of prayer in the in the secret place. We continue to refresh our spirit, soul, and body, Amen. and our lives will never be will never remain the same again as we Amen. generate power and we expose the power of God to every situation around us. Amen. So we know that we have been with Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Amen. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, my sister. We continue next week, Monday. Have a great weekend. Uh, tomorrow, I do a fireplace. Uh, talk for our site that if you're interested feel free to come along i'm presently sharing and love and truth the demarcation of the church of christ and on sunday we continue with our book